Hello, my makeup loving friends. How's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, hi, my name is Teresa. We have the gorgeous Tia with me today because believe it or not, it's time for another releases and rants. We have a week's worth of new makeup releases to talk about. But first, we have a few little general announcements to get into. It seems like Rare Beauty, i.e. of Selena Gomez, is coming to the UK and Ireland via Space NK. So if you want to oh. try it, there you go. It also looks like Billie Eilish is coming out with her own brand. Initially, it looks like perfumes, but let's be real, they're going to branch into something else. Um, then we knew that KKW was going to change the brand of the KKW beauty line. Obviously, she was getting rid of the, the W because of the, the West, the Kanye West thing. But she's now renaming it as SKKN, which is going to be very confusing because there's another brand called SKYN which is like all like skincare stuff. So where's the S K K? Like what's the S? I actually have no, I think it's like and skincare. I actually have no well, idea. Is it like it skin, but like with a K instead of an I? Uh, S K K N. That could be skin if it was I. I don't know. <laughs> Nobody understands. Anyways, yeah. that's what it's getting rebranded for. There you go. Um, the biggest news probably in this week was, if anyone was following the Juvia's Place stuff, oh my Lord, there was a not subtle racism. It was great. Highly recommend. Lots of people were very annoyed, uh, myself included. Juvia's Place have released an apology. Uh, I'm going to obviously be showing it on the screen. I mean, it's good that they've apologised. I can't really say whether or not it's worth it I'm not from the community that's affected and I'm of the belief that you can't see if an apology is real unless you look at the the behavior after so we're going to see in the next couple of months how legitimate that apology actually is but oof, like I can't believe that people are still using language like that yeah confusing Anyways, let's get on to the happy things. Uh, there's lots of people to thank for tagging me in content this week. You fabulous, fabulous human. So big thank you to Brianna, Ali, Beth, Gillian, Claire, JW, Daniela, Jasmine, Paula, Heidi, Sue, Amina, Heather, Shanna, Lisa, Franca, Gina, Emily, Missy, Kat, Zara, Louise, Lucy, Rhiannon, Amy, Susie, Tina, Wilma, Fingerdo, Missa, Jade, S, Pia, Pidonia, Abigail, Sylvia, Ula, Tess, Natalia, Tony, Cheryl, Chrissy, Gaia, Miss Charlie, Manuela, T, Alexis, Lauren, Kristen, Rhea, Shalina, Sophie, Heather, Amanda, Flick, and Ilya. That's a lot of people. Massive so thank you. So much. I think that's one of the highest count we've yeah. had. Major <laughs> thank you to you guys. You know, I, I couldn't do it without you. Although it would be nice if a few of you came and helped me put together this PDF. I'm just saying. Hashtag rude. But a big thank you, as always, to my Patreons. You're an excellent bunch. And we have a birthday this week. A very, very big happy birthday to Rhiannon you're very yes much love to you and our theme this week is midnight I'm not so on the theme but I had another thing I had to do so yeah. look this is not true. here's the thing right <laughs> Tia is a queen or a cunning attire and she can do <laughs> whatever she wants yeah I know finish Basically. one word <laughs> Yeah. Yay me. <laughs> Anyways, guys, you know the drill. A few of my Patreons have come up with their own midnight looks and you'll get to see them now. Again, an annoyingly talented bunch, but it is what it is. Let's just get straight into it. Sydney Grace came out with the new Be Mine palette, so obviously in time for uh, Valentine's Day. And there's two different variations of the same palette. They're out now, essentially, for $52. So there's a light version and there's a deep version. And there's a difference between the palettes just across six shades. The shades Smooch, All Mine, Love Me, Flirty, Soulmates, and Darling. So some of the shades have been deepened for the, the deep palette. Personally, I think that's a smart idea. Like, obviously, like we've talked a lot in, in the past about palettes that really aren't catering to darker skin tones. Yeah. And it's really nice to see an indie brand of all of the brands uh, actually trying to do it. Now, personally, I couldn't see much of a difference between them, but 
It could just there be is a slight difference on yes. the center row, but I mean, I kind of wish they would have done like two different palettes. Yeah. Because why do we need like two of the same? Because most of the time, people like want to like even us who are as Caucasian as you and me can use a palette with really deep colors. Yeah. They couldn't make the whole lot of more sales if they would have made them different. Then people would have been like, oh, I maybe want to buy them both. You know, yeah. this way they're kind of like limits in the sales. You don't want them both because you don't need them both. Um, this color store is like... Yeah, it's like, it's obviously meant to be for Valentine's Day. And the only reason I'm saying obviously is the name. Be mine. There's nothing that looks very mm. Valentine's Day romantic yeah. like that, with the exception of the packaging. I think it's like a pinky neutral palette, like nothing new, nothing exciting. Mm. I don't know. I I kind of kind of hate it. See, I I no, that's grand. Like I applaud the effort of actually thinking about different skin tones. Yeah, I actually think that's a really that's really nice and a really good yeah idea. Uh, I just think but that I kind of think this is the more boring version of the palette we talked last week, the W7 Valentine's Day launch. Yeah. The, what's it called? Yes. Uh, I can't remember the. Oh, God. I can't remember either. But it was like a pinks and purples and neutrals. Alex just did a video on yeah. it. And yeah, it kind of reminds me of that, but more boring. Yeah, much more toned down. Look, I like yeah. the idea of of kind of the inclusivity. I just I am not personally that keen on the color story. I will say I like Sydney Grace. I have a few things from them. So like more power to them. Yeah. I hope it goes well. It just ain't for me, you know. Yeah. Um, but apparently it, it does say that um this is in their little section. They said, now sometimes when creating new products, there come trials and errors. Unfortunately, this was one of those times. If you closely look at the palette, there is a line separating the love and me. There was an error when printing the palettes. All palettes will have this line and a select few will have kissy lips. I will post pictures of what to look for soon. Those that receive the kissy lip palettes will receive a $100 gift certificate. Oh, wow. Yeah. Plot twist. Okay, that's. I mean, I kind of want the palette <laughs> with the mistake. I've been like, can I have that and the gift card, please? That's like just essentially getting forty eight dollars for free, like you know. Yeah. I think I look. I I think it's a nice idea. It ain't for me. But when I put it to you guys, nine percent of you love it. So similar sort of idea. But can I say this next one? I'm excited about not all of it, but elements of this. This is Colored Rain, and this is their new chic collection. There are four different six pan palettes. There's the neutral chic, the pretty chic, which is pink tones, the wealthy chic, which is green tones, and the sunset chic, which is orange tones. They're sixteen dollars each, or you can get the bundle of all four for. $60. I'm gonna I absolutely am obsessed with that green palette. And I actually weirdly oh, like the orange one as well. The orange one would be a beautiful blush palette as well. Mm, that's what I was thinking. Well, I kind of like them all, except yeah. that the neutral is not my vibe. I get why it's there. It's a good like a neutral palette for a quick neutral eye on the go. I wouldn't yeah, throw any fine. out of bed. I like all of them, but there's, you know, no. if you said, okay, you can only have two, those are the two that I would choose, the green yeah. and the orange. I think I would th take the green and the pinky yeah. bluey one, but look at that deep mm. navy blue in there, like, oh. they and are I, gorgeous. I love Color Drain's formula. I think they are so good. So good. I love this. I think this is done really yeah. well. And $16. Not a bad well, at all. Not bad, actually. Not bad. I mean, think about it. Remember um, XX Revolution when they came out with their six, uh, six pans? They were a comparative price. Yeah. And is that, that green one. Look at that deep green there. And that yeah. like really bright apple yeah. like green. And then like, oh. Don't talk to me about it. It is That could be years. just one and done. A really pretty Three like. Years green monochromatic 
blend. Oh, I think I, I may need to get. I uh, love this. <laughs> I, I, I like. I don't need it. I don't. I know this in my little stupid mind brain, but like, I'm like, how have they done it? There's six pans, and yet there's everything that I would need to do yeah. something. We're always giving out that there isn't enough depth, and there it is. There is the yeah. depth. I love it. And if anyone disagrees with me, I will come and bite you. I feel very strongly about this. <laughs> Absolutely I'm love it. I love all four of these. Like I think all four of these have been executed yeah. really well. Yeah. They all have their like place there. Yeah. I agree. And it seems a lot of you thought the exact same thing because when I put it to you guys, 67% of you love it. Now we're on to, a, like, this is a complete juxtaposition. This is Essence Cosmetics and their new collection of Catching Clouds. So there's a hydrating milky face mist, a swirl lip balm, mix and match pearl stickers, which I actually think are kind of cool. Inner eye brightening pen, a cloud touch highlighter, a cloud touch mousse primer, and a cloud touch body luminizer. Now it says that they're coming soon, but it does seem that they're in some stores across Europe at the moment I did get some messages of people saying they had seen them in store and they were like eh bit underwhelming I mean yeah Essence is kind of like they have their heads yeah and then they I'm kind of interested on the milky face mist yeah. and the mousse primer could be nice and those pearls yeah but like it's kind of like I don't know what to say about this it's yeah it's going to be limited edition. So if you're going to love any of these, it's going to be gone for like a couple of months. You can't get yeah. it. That's the one thing I hate about Essence and Catrice. The one moment you find something that you love, you better go buy 10 of those yeah. because it's going to be gone. Absolutely. I, I mean, I think the thing I like the most is the little sticker things. Yeah, it looks kind of pretty. Like you essence of sticks are really. I'm no, I'm actually wearing Catrice today under the glosses, but essence lipsticks are nice. I do own quite a few of them. Yeah, they're good. They're affordable. Like I can't really say much oh. against them because I think they're actually generally a pretty solid brand for yeah. the price. And this is not gonna be expensive. It's gonna be like, I I would say under seven euros everything yeah i don't hate it i'm not gonna pick up anything but like i'm not i I'm might not exist. if i see them in store but yeah then again i might not because <gasps> kind of like a moment of mystery yeah will she won't she who knows yeah, yeah. No, but <laughs> until if i have them then yeah. you will know <laughs> yeah. and then she will let everyone know Fair. Yeah. When I put it to you guys, 38% of you love it. We have another affordable brand. This is Profusion, and this is available at Walmart. It's the Desert Sage collection. There's a blending sponge. There's a 25 pan eyeshadow palette for $12.98. There's a brush and bag set for $9.98 and some lashes. I have a lot of thoughts on this. Mm -hmm. The shape of the pans of the eyeshadow is... I don't want to say it's causing me anxiety because that's like overblowing it, but it is annoying me. But the oh. thing is, if I look at the colours, right, if I take them out of the context. Beautiful. Yes, exactly. But the pan design is throwing me off so much. That, that would like, I, I don't like that it's some of them are smaller and some of them are bigger. And then it's like on that flower shape, like, yeah, it kind of looks cool, but using that would be a nightmare hmm. that's the like, thing i i would prefer if they just came out with a five by five 25 pack because it's 25 pounds just come out with it in that yeah piece. yeah at least why do we need these ridiculous pan designs yeah like come on we don't want them i will give them credit though at least they didn't make the palette itself a weird shape yeah so because it could have been a shape of that. It could flower. have been so much worse. <laughs> I like the brush set and hey. the bat that comes with it. It's so it's cute. And I like the sage color that they used, like that Same. Uh, beauty blender, like that holder thingy. And it's uh, adorable. 
It's so cute. Yeah. The palette just is... It's throwing me. Yeah. You could see, though, Elena reviewing this. I think yeah. she gets a PR from ProFusion now. Because I commented on one of the posts, like, you should add her on your PR list. And a couple of seconds after that, it might have been days, but... Yes. <laughs> <If they laughs> link. But you see, the thing is, now, Elena can no longer be like, what am I, chopped liver? Feck off, Elena. We can't, actually. She's doing so great at the moment. Like, amazing. And I'm Irish, so I am grudging her all of that success. Yeah, so I'm we can be now. Her. Who are we? Yeah. Chopped liver. Where the fuck is my PR? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where's my PR profusion? God damn it. <laughs> um, the thing is, I think, I think the basic stuff in this palette is is good. Like, I like the color story. It's the fucking pan. I do think it could have a little bit more depth. I've seen yeah. that in profusion's palettes, they're usually, their lack of mm-hmm. depth, like really deep shades. And that's kind of annoying to me yeah. because then I would have to add another palette in. Yeah. But I've heard their quality is amazing. Yeah, so. They are. They're very and for the price. The palette is really not that expensive. Thirteen dollars. So this will eventually I mean, come. We'll to like dinner. this. It's not the worst thing ever if you can get over the pan size thing. Yeah. I don't know if I can. <laughs> I don't know if I can like there will come a day where I'm in TK Maxx and that's there and that's when we'll really see yeah what I'm made of can I can I, I really, really I really hope that you're with me Tia on that occasion <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you can be like I mean that could be a pretty like a painting on the like you could put it on the wall and <laughs> that's a pretty remember, painting like that time that we had Missa on and she was like oh yeah there's a palette there and it's you know inspiration of a, a painting and you know you could have it it's like decoration I was like it's 53 dollars and she was like never mind <laughs> <laughs> this is even one. that expensive so <laughs> it's a house decoration yeah. <laughs> yeah fair. when I put this to you guys 22 percent of you love it so I'm assuming it's the pans yeah, me too. Only, yeah. Because it has to be the past. Only logical explanation. Yeah. Oh my gosh, She Glam are at it again. They have a new collection. It's their modern love collection. So they have the Heartbeat Lip to Cheek Blush Tint for $5. So they come in three different shades, like the shade Kiss Me. It's like that kind of an orangey shade. They have Shake Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow Sets. They are $8 each. They come in three different shades. And there's a heart catcher two-in-one stamp eyeliner for three dollars fifty and they also have a lip mask as well and that is four dollars and you can get all of them together for thirty dollars fifty i love this mm. it's just such a cute valentine's day collection look at those blush shades and we all know how good she glam blushes are and i actually really like the heart stamp liner yeah. like I've been kind of like, that could be cute, like <laughs> under the eyes or somewhere. Like, that could be so nice. I mean, I, Milk came out with something like that years ago. Yeah. It was, I, I think, think they still dark have. Signs. I yeah. know Body Shop has also those stamp liners. But they're way more but, expensive. Yeah, this could be such an affordable. Like, I like the packaging. I like the, like, layout on the PR box. I mean, the like... <sighs> The mattes, the, like the liquid shadows. I mean, the glitter looks nice. The pearlize, it's okay. I kind of don't love the colors. Yeah. But I think that's a really, like, a good choice for this. Yeah. Because, like, you could do a quick... I think this is a meant to be, like, a quick one and done, you know? Yeah, like day You want to yeah. look nice, but you're lazy. Yeah. It's me. <laughs> I like it. Look, um, of the the she glam stuff I have tried, I've actually quite enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed. Yeah. Like, there's, no, I think on my whole, there's not one thing 
I hate. Like I got this lip set and the black one out of these because this is like a mousse, like a NYX soft matte cream formula. This is not the best, but all the other colors are really pretty. I've been actually enjoying this one a lot. And it makes my lips like that formula makes my lips look so smooth. So when I feel like I have really like buttholy lips, I just put a little bit of that on and I'm like, oh, that helps. And that was the purpose of She Glam, to not have arsehole lips. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is a smart collection. Makes an awful lot of sense. I think they'll get an awful lot of sales for this as well. Yeah. It's so accessible for so many people. Don't hate it. Don't hate it at all. When I put it to you guys, 20% of you loved it though. So just not mm. in that loving mood. Maybe it's because I feel like there's a lot of people who don't really want to support She Glam at all. So that, that can be like a... Possibly. Back in this. Possibly. Send your explanations on a postcard. Not yeah. to, I have no time to read them, uh, but to someone who, who cares. <laughs> Sounds really bad, but you know what I mean. This next one then is from Adept Cosmetics, and this is the Plain Jane Remastered Palette. I believe this is the third time they have remastered this. So I think there's a few people who aren't wildly happy that this is the third reiteration. So just come out with an all new one. Yeah, it's it's a strange one. I will also say I got some messages uh, in my DMs, and I do have to chase up the veracity of these. But again, work has taken over uh, nine to five and um apparently there was an issue allegedly uh with adept cosmetics and a blind customer and there was a lot of ableism involved i don't know how true that is but it may be something to look up if you're thinking about getting this and you know just uh, customer relations all that sort of thing informed choices the swatches though can we talk about that fucking gorgeous oh my god looks stunning absolutely beautiful i am like why are you remastering the palette the third time yeah like just make a new palette with a different name or like a, or are they like doing is it remastered or are you doing like a volume three yeah because if you would have marketed this as volume three it would have been so upsetting to the customers who bought the first time around or the second time around. And, oh, I just got the shitty formula. Now I'm just like, and now it's better. Like, no, make it better the first time. Yeah. I don't know. It's very, but apparently the formula has always been good. It's just they've been changing a couple of different shades along the way. So just, then this is like marketed badly. Yeah, it's it's a bit it's not a remastered. Then it's like more like a volume three of the same palette, like you know, like the same series of palettes. Like, but there's some same shades that were in the first one and the second one. I don't know. I know confusing. it's confusing, but it's I very think... confusing. Like, like I think why are you doing that? Like, I think they got. I think this is the same thing as like other brands when they got one hit product it's gonna do it over and over yeah. and over you can and change over the and name over and over okay. and over and over again and, and you're like yeah like you can change the name it's it's okay yeah. um like i do think if you just stumbled upon this brand for the first time and you saw that you'd be like yeah yeah I, I mean it looks stunning it looks beautiful yeah i think they are a bit pricey if yeah. i remember correctly oh yeah yeah sell your firstborn if i believe yeah yeah uh, plot twist i have no firstborn so they're getting no <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah i mean i think this is very very pretty i can just imagine what it would be like over like a black base or even a white base um yeah. i love it I think it's very pretty. Don't hate it. Don't hate it at all. When I put it to you guys, 54% of you love it. This next one is quite an interesting one. Um, 
I mm, I have feelings on this, right? This is Fenty Beauty, and this is part of their Lunar New Year. Can we call it collection? Because it's only one shade of a contour stick in the shade Amber, which is fine for me because I'm a paste bitch. Don't know if you I know actually this. own that shade. Yeah, don't know if you know this, guys, but Lunar New Year is like a Chinese thing. So maybe, just maybe, if you're gonna come out with a contour stick that's in one shade for a uh, inspiration of a particular ethnicity, maybe have it so that contour stick, I don't know, could be used with that population. Like, there's not only, like, Asian people who can wear this. Like, they have a variety of skin tones also. So, I mean, I just... These were on sale for, like, I read at the comments when this came out. These were on sale for, like, a tenner for a really long time. Then they just repackaged one shade, not the, all of the shades one shade make it as a new thing and now they can charge the 28 again like clearly it's not selling if it's been on sale for a long long time um and also the thing like just the one shade like i expected more from fenty who has been a spokesperson who like paved the way for like to be like every skin tone is catered lines <laughs> this is Feels like a, a dr jekyll mr hyde sort of situation like this, this does not like, i don't know how they released this yeah. how did this this because this got out of the boardroom it's like they have kind of like it's like oh we do something for the loop i have like feeling like is, does Rihanna still have anything to do with this? I'm not sure. Because, like, if you look at the last couple of releases, they've been a bit eh and just repetitive. Yeah, I don't know. This is just, this was way off, way off the mark. Mm -mm. This is actually terrible, and I hope nobody buys it. Yeah, and if you do, I will judge you. <laughs> <laughs> And you don't want to gain the judgment of Teresa. My students really don't. Um, but yeah, that's that's the whole thing. When I put it to you guys, 14% of you love it. So similar views. This next one, who knew? This is Tarte. And they're releasing this, this is what they've called it, Big Ego Dab and Go Hair Concealer. There's seven shades and they're $24. Right, here's, here's the thing, right? I don't think that this is all in all a bad idea, particularly for people who like maybe self-conscious about, you know, thinning hair, etc. It could actually be quite useful for that. But the way that they've marketed this is really weird. Like they've shown it on a person that has an incredibly thick, full head of hair. And it's like, here, look, we're just covering the scalp. And I'm like, but if you show it to me on the population for whom would actually want to use this. Yeah, kind of like, that would be helpful. I would be a perfect spokesperson for this tart. I'm, I'm not really sure I want to be on your PR, but send me, send me, I'll try it. <laughs> 20 beige palettes later, Tia <laughs> yeah. regrets her. I'm like, no more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's yeah, not the worst thing, thing ever, but it's just the like concealer for your hair. <laughs> it's just like, why is the name hair concealer? Ah, uh, see, I'm just thinking of all of the effort of this as well, because like I, I have like bits here that I probably like I could like use, but then I'm I glad they didn't call it hair shape thing. Oh God, yeah, <laughs> missed opportunity. But you know, you know, if they happen to watch this, they'd be like, quickly remarket it. <laughs> Can we change the packaging? Is it too late? Yeah. Like. I, I would just think of like, you'd have to have a shower every single time that you use that. Yeah. Otherwise, can you imagine the state of your pillow? Yeah. Let's not think of that. Anyways, it's a strange one, weirdly marketed. When I put it to you guys, 14% of you said, yes, scalp be gone, which 
fair, who needs it? Nomad Cosmetics have revealed their new eyeshadow palette. It's called Nomad Lodge. It's apparently inspired by the snow lodges of Whistler. So it's all about like apres ski. There are seven matte, six shimmers and two duochromes for $39. It is available now. I like the color story of this. Like I think this is quite pretty, but I think I have like the blues from the, the Iceland, like fire and ice palette that I really enjoy. So I don't think I'd necessarily need this as well. Um, I don't like, I don't understand why there's like a brown shimmer and a brown there and a gold color. And uh, I just, there's something with Nomad palettes that just don't, I don't, they're just, I'm not drawn to them. It's just something about the packaging and layout and the colors. It's just like I like some colors of it, like I like the blues and the teals, but then I don't know about the reds and the like browns and golds there. It's like, why? It's see, just... I can see it with like the, the story, the narrative of you're going skiing, uh, you know, the brown for the boots and the, the, the ski lodges are usually like timber. The reds are there for the fire. The gold is there for like the flames and the fire. You know, like that sort of. I'm there, but it just doesn't look. Yeah, like you. yeah. It's just like how would I use all of that together? Um, yeah. Like I like I like that blue on the center. Mm-hmm. Like oh my god, it looks stunning. Yeah. It's just not for me. Yeah. I'm just not drawn to it. That's fair. I quite like it, but I'm not picking it up because I'm trying to be more selective. It's weird. I don't, like, who am I? What's happening? Who are you? I'll be honest, though, I'm not doing very well with it. Like, I'm like, <laughs> oh, that is for me, and that is for me. Oh, but, but, but. So, like, on the one hand, I'm, yes. I'm trying to be better. And then on the other hand, it's like, oh, dear, here's a 100 euro beauty bay order that's just come in. And I'm like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> it's like Teresa your actions and your verbal behavior do not match up <laughs> like the fuck are you doing um yeah I think it's nice not gonna be getting it but like you know good luck to them the, the, the owners seem to be very very nice when I put it to you guys 54% of you love it so there you go this next one is quite an interesting one this is by mm. Chixie Cosmetics before you say anything I, I have some things to say and it's quite important it's retailing for $18 all that sort of thing it's available now but you may remember a couple of weeks ago uh, we were looking at uh, Milan Row Cosmetics and they had collaborated with Doodles by the bunny uh, aka Angela and they came out with a poison ivy palette right plot thickens she had put up a picture about this poison ivy palette over a year ago that whole idea quite a, a chunk of the idea of the color story she was meant to be working with Chixie cosmetics and then they blocked her it was a whole thing so it seems like they have because I've been chatting with her stolen her idea oh yeah. And they're like added a couple of pinks there yeah. just to like throw us off the scent. Uh, but like they've called it. I was gonna they say, didn't even bother changing just... the name. They didn't bother yeah. changing the name. I was gonna say it's a cute palette. Yeah. But now I don't want to like it. But you can see if you look at that versus the yeah. baby palette yeah. from one row, there are massive massive like yeah Paris it's basically the same and then they just add a couple of pinks there basically yeah. the same thing and you know how we say like oh that isn't enough time to dupe but the thing is she had those drawings up there yeah and she was in in talks with them that is so yeah. fucking shady now I talked about this brand before about a month ago when I was like giving them the benefit of the doubt Anna was on with me and we you know I was saying about how like the the packaging was weird but it looked like it was something that you know will ferrell and you know <laughs> had come up with in Step Brothers that they were like yeah it's gonna be storm clouds and thunder and zeus and that and i was giving them the benefit of the doubt because i was like it's affordable etc but my god if they're going around and taking ideas from other people yeah. particularly doodles by the bunny i mean i mean i think most of us who are into makeup we have seen her stuff coming up in our feed and we get excited yeah. we're like oh my god this looks like a beautiful pa- oh it's a mock-up <laughs> yeah oh my god that is the worst since so many of her things and i'm like oh, 
oh, new palette. And then I'm like, oh, fuck no. Somebody, but you see, this is the thing. Somebody needs to hire her. Like, yeah. Because she knows what she's doing. She thinks of really good color stories. Like, yeah. I would, yeah, like, I think it's brilliant. But I thought that was so disappointing because if you had thrown out all of that, I thought this was a lovely palette. I still do yeah. think it's a lovely palette. Yeah. I was like excited. I was like, oof, it's not that expensive and it looks gorgeous. But now I honestly don't even want to like it. Yeah. Like, dodge yeah I'm over it yeah anyways that is the tea and when I put it to you guys 51% of you love it so who knows that stat may have changed as a result of the the info just shared and that's right it's another week more color pop uh they have a heart-shaped brush a sort of a highlighter there's Sol body oils there's uh the obligatory eyeshadow palette which reminds me a little bit of when um doll beauty came out with remember those little eyeshadow palettes that felt like they were trying to be eye heart revolution which made no sense then they have like some uh like lipsticks but i think what has gotten everyone's attention is the heart shaped blushes oh they're beautiful but they just make me think of Too faced yeah i know a lot of companies now have that same component like kimchi i think doll beauty so many people have that same component now like component that heart shape but it just makes me think of two yeah but the blushes look nice they do they do that peachy one there is like in the corner i'm like yeah that's the one i'm looking at um yeah, it's fine. I kind of like the look of the highlighter as well. Yeah, I would use that as a blush. A, blush, a glowy blush. Same. Yeah. Like the palette is like eh, don't care. this million times of color, oh, literally. Don't care. Like I wish they just would minimize their collections. Like like how many times have we talked about color pop collections and we're like, ooh, they have like a really good one thing here. Like we're like, oh, that's really nice. And then they have a million of other things like a palette and a highlighter and a soul body and a lip thing and a prayer brush. And like so many things that takes up the focus of the really nice product that they have there. Like, please, color pop, please minimize your collections. Focus on one or two things and make them like excellent. Yeah. This is the thing. Like, like, we don't need, like, the palette is pointless there. The soul body, shimmer and body oil is pointless. The hairbrush and the lippies. We have those lippies millions of times. Like, the highlighter and the blush, they could have been the whole focus standard. of the collection. Totally. And it would have been so much better. I 5,000% agree. I think they're under the impression that every time they come out with a collection, it has to be an entire collection yeah like a full collection yeah. of everything but it doesn't and it just to doesn't need to be that yeah there's like like i would say 60 percent of this is going to be on a landfill like because we don't need it we don't need this much stuff i don't know why colourpop isn't listening like I feel like a lot of people are talking about yeah. it. Color pop releases, like it's an ongoing joke in the beauty community that Color Pop releases a new collection every week. Aren't they listening? Aren't they listening to the consumers, to the community, that this is not what we want? Maybe it's working for them financially. Who knows? And that's why they keep doing it. But, but even from an ethical standpoint of you're yeah. using that many resources and like impacting the environment that much, I'm like, oh, is this is this the way we want to be going with all of this? Yeah. Feels it feels like a weird one to me. Anyways, I feel mm. like we've given this more than enough attention. Yeah. When I put it to you guys, 20% if you love it. 
this next one is true innovation. And uh, if you've ever wanted to recreate scenes from Silence of the Lamb and take care of your skin, that's right, now is the time. This is from Soul Mama, which is like um, a Korean beauty brand. And they have collaborated with Oscar Mayer. Yeah, that's the guy that do the wieners, yeah. AKA the sausages. And they've come out with this thing that looks like deli meat that you put onto your face. Who who was looking <laughs> at this? Who went, you know what? Long <laughs> like, what does that smell like, Bologna? <laughs> I, I'm worried though Can you imagine if I got that And if Sahil was in the house He'd probably be like Poor He'd be like It tastes a bit weird But I'll still eat it Like <laughs> like I mean he was talking about Adding water to a Cheeto's Lip scrub So <laughs> Honestly, you never know. Yeah. This is the fucking weirdest thing I've seen so far. Yeah. We're, so we're, weird. This, we're almost this. finished January, but I'm like, oh no. <laughs> like, like, why would you want a bologna? Bologna. Bologna. Is it bologna? Bologna. Well, yeah. Why would you want a sheet mask that looks like bologna? If it smells like that too. <laughs> then, uh, I have no words. You know how, like, sometimes when people, when they're doing full skincare, they put like cucumber onto their eyes. Is it just so you can start to feel like you're a full, yeah. like, like, munch? why do I need this? I just get bologna on the supermarket and slice it on my face. I think it's like they're taking that phrase of, like, I want to look like a snack a little bit too literally. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, this is a fucking strange <laughs> This is seen. so weird. Like, this is going on a top five of the weirdest thing <laughs> on releases and rats ever. <laughs> it really fucking is. Like, like I said, we can we can recreate scenes from horror movies now. So yeah. that's that's the way we... I <laughs> I know, we I l- I'd love to see a comparison side by side of somebody who's just using actual <laughs> deli meat on their face and just seeing like, <laughs> <laughs> is this a dupe? It's cheaper to get deli meat and put that onto my face <laughs> and snack afterwards. Like, what is going on? Have we run out of ideas? This comes back to the point of me saying that I legitimately think that part of why we see so many food based products in makeup is there is a, a, a man somewhere there, like yeah. a straight man kind of going, Oh, this oh. was lit. I think, isn't it a like a man who Oscar my ear. Yeah. So there you go. There are no words. There are no words. When I put it to you guys, 4% of you said, I love baloney. And 96% of you said, Two Silence of the Lamb, which, you know, fair. This next one, I swear to God, this is an episode that is filled with a bit of drama, really. This is Maybelline, and they've said this is their new line, and it's the green edition, and I'm like, lads, what the fuck are you doing, right? They said this is a formula that contains a minimum of 70% natural origin ingredients, vegan, mm, clean, okay, with a packaging... What that does can, that even mean? Yeah, with a packaging that includes a mix of new and recycled materials. Okay, on the surface of that, that all sounds quite nice but here's the thing most vegans I'm gonna say pretty much all vegans like to use cruelty free makeup guess what Maybelline ain't yeah, cruelty, Maybelline free. cruelty free um I don't hate the actual launch yeah like I, I'm quite interested on the lippies and the skin tint but like the tinted oil make oh it's oil Tinted oil makeup, adjustable coverage. I don't know if I want oil. But that's all the shades they have. Yeah, I was going to say the shade range is... But what do we expect from... Like, this is the sad thing. We don't expect more from Maybelline, L'Oreal, these like drugstore brands, Rimmel. You know, we don't expect more of them. So this is like... We're used to it now, and and it's really sad, actually. I just really don't like that they're trying to say that this is like a green edition, like yeah. I, 
you know, vegan, clean, etc. When it's like, but you're still testing on animals. So like, you can't really say you're vegan then. So like some people could end up purchasing this and not know any, any better. Like, it just feels like false advertising in a way. It just, it doesn't sit right with me. And just the poor shade range, it's really weird. It does feel like they're just trying to jump on a bandwagon of, oh, clean beauty. Oh, we yeah. want to be vegan too. We've seen that seems to be working for KVD and all these other brands. It's like, well, well cause they have an ethos and stuff behind them. You don't. Then actually go vegan. Yeah. What do you think? Like literally, it's, it's not actually that hard. Yeah, it ain't. Like just, and just saying. Anyways, I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's pissed me off. When I put it to you guys as to you know what you thought of their green vegan line, twenty three percent of you love it. So a lot of you saw through the bullshit. Okay, this next one. Every single time Urban Decay come out with something new, I want it to be good. I do. I do. I genuinely, I want to see them do well. And then they throw this at me, right? Oh. They try to be like, this is our wild greens collection. Fuck off. That is not wild. And that is not green. There's like, like a sous-son of green, like a hint of green. That's yeah. like the memory. That's like a green. palette with a pop of green. Not even. Like it's, I. It's just it's so lackluster. Like, come on, look at those swatches. Oh my god! It actually, wow. makes the palette look even worse if it's possible when you see the swatches. I'm just there's no hope for Urban Decay. I don't think if they don't change everything on their design team. Come on, you were once the one that everyone wanted to buy. You made excellent palette and now you're doing this the fuck what do you have to say for yourself yeah but here's the thing <laughs> right they kind of went oh we like we're not doing that well because they've obviously changed their design the design looks totally different on the package because you know how they usually keep that same yeah. sort of packaging it's it stayed pretty constant and i'm like lads our problem has never been with the design we could we, we we genuinely couldn't care less about that. That's yeah. not the shit that we care about. Granted, that design. I feel like the packaging side side of them has always been a strong suit. Like yeah. I feel the packaging on this, it looks nice. Like I'm not like a keen on the eye thing there, but yeah. it's not the like it's like cool packaging. But what is inside is like disappointing. It's a fact. Like, the formula feels like it's from the 90s that it has not changed it yeah. doesn't blend there is no pigment it's just the, hard to do anything with it where's the pigment exactly look at those swatches i'm like how do you dare even put that thing out like okay maybe you were honest but come on i just want to send them a dictionary to for what the word wild means because this isn't wild. If that if this is what they think wild is, then they probably think that the person who says that they're going to bed at five past nine instead of nine p.m. is a rebel. It's wild. You know, they're like, oh, look at <laughs> you, James. Wild. Like they're like, look at you, fucking rebel without a cause. <laughs> like I just, I, uh, I can't. I hate this with the passion. Basically. And then, of course, an obligatory mascara is thrown in there. I don't yeah. care. Anyways, when I put it to you guys, 27% if you love it. So there you go. I'm worried. I'm very worried for you, 27%. So, I'm just assuming for my own sanity that it was somebody accidentally. Yeah, it must have been. Only I plausible can't... explanation. Just saying. Only. Yeah, and then Revolution are claiming that they have some new things. I say claiming because I feel like I've seen this before. Or maybe I'm just having a point of deja vu that because Revolution has come up with so many things that I'm like, I can't cope with this anymore. They have the ultimate brightening routine collection. So there's a bright light a highlighter uh, for £8, a banana brighten loose baking powder for £6, the bright under eye corrector for £6, and the eye bright concealer £8. Now, I actually have a lot of people 
people messaging me kind of going I thought they've done this before so it's not just they me. actually have those powders and the brightening concealer thing I think they had that before but it was on a I actually had the package and it was like they have a similar one but it's in a different packaging um the only thing that I'm interested in is the highlighter thing because they say it's a Charlotte Tilbury to do. Yeah. Some of the shades are dupes for the Charlotte Tilbury. From the concealer, you can find a dupe for the I saw contour and the blush and the highlighter from the I saw that Emily, who goes by Cru- yeah. Cru- Cruella, put on her TikTok a one of the highlighters. And I have to say, I thought that looked really quite pretty. It- it looked identical mm. it looked identical to the charlotte tilbury one so but like they had those banana brightening baking powder thingies because i have one shit like not the banana but i have the translucent one or is it like a glowy one now oh who even knows they said it's brightening so yeah, maybe it's a glowy one then. Or, or um, alternative, um, alternative explanation is that you have been time traveling. Yeah, possibly in my dreams on a tea nap, I time travel. She does. That's why she's out for so long. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole thing. Um, yeah, none of this is particularly interesting to me. I'm personally not buying Revolution. It's my own choice the whole thing anyways when i put it to you guys a 26 percent if you love it so there you go that means we're on to some sneak peeks so be perfect sneak peeked this so it looks like they're coming out with a foundation um i am kind of i'm pissed off with be perfect be from last week and their whole reaction to or lack of reaction around uh blue monday because they saw my stories ignored it saw my post ignored it and then as soon as i put a post up about this they liked it Oh yeah, and by the way, Be Perfect was being hacked, the Be Perfect mega site. This morning, I got a message from them. It was like, oh, I spent on this look ages, and then it has a link to it. I was like, what? (laughs) Excuse me, what? (laughs) And then I messaged to Be Perfect Brendan and the Be Perfect account, not that because it was the mega account that sent the message and shortly after that I got a message that this is a scam don't click the link so it's like she's I got weird messages from Pete perfect my god please don't click the links <laughs> anyways they're coming out with a foundation. I kind of don't really want to buy anything from Be Perfect for a while. Between the shit lipsticks and lip liners that I got, and then being such dickheads about the Blue Monday thing and just being like, la, 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 we don't want to hear any criticism. I just don't want to fuck with it anymore. Like, I'm intrigued. But we'll see. Mm. We'll see what's the, if it's like a math foundation, then I'm not intrigued because. It's just I'm too dry. Yeah, fair. And I have already a couple of matte foundations that actually work on my skin. So I'm not going to gamble on this. But we'll see. We'll see what the future holds. True. When I put it to you guys, 40% if you love it. And then the last thing that we're talking about that's coming out is Melt. They're coming out with five skin toned eyeliners. So there's five different shades. And uh, let's face it, they are really thinking about a couple of different uh, skin tones. I like the look of the mustardy colored one. I know they're meant to be skin tone, but like. The mustard one is gorgeous. Isn't it? That could be a beautiful lip liner too. Yeah. Um, I think this is a good launch for them, yeah. to be honest. it's then, It makes sense. The swatches look really good as well. Like, did you see how creamy? Yeah, and they look really creamy. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I'm really, I'm having a really hard time with my waterline. Like, I, it's hard to get, um, like, liners to stick there. And also, I'm very sensitive under my eyes, so... I look for like a creamy formula that is fully pigmented from the first go. So I don't have to like go, back go there millions of times and like make my eyes water. So 
I mean, it does look it. like they could be the one. I mean, obviously, yeah. it's going to be expensive, so get one. Yeah. Don't get all I mean, hot. I really like the very um, high disk liners. They're yes. actually good. Mm -hmm. And they are, I'm wearing now the pink shade, and it's been on the whole day, so it's still there. So yeah. they are nice. They but are. I mean, very good. if I want to treat myself sometimes, maybe the mustard one is, is calling to me. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, it's a nice one. I think this is a good launch. Makes an awful lot of sense for them. When I put it to you guys, 51% of you love it. So I think a lot of us are very much like colourful hoes. So we're like, we'd like to see Mokal as yeah. he is, which... But okay. this could mean that they're coming with a colourful set later. Mm. That's what I'm hoping. Hopefully. I'm, I'm for it. Anyways, that is it. We do have my favorite comments of the week. And this is from my lovely girl, Jay Delana. And she said, I love Gaia's commitment to getting change for the shitty Blue Monday campaigns. Well done for making a change. Even if it was only one brand and you got blocked by another one in the process. So well done, Gaia. Doing, doing the makeup community's hard work. We must appreciate it. But anyways. Yeah, <laughs> we like. Um, but that is it. That's the whole thing. Do please like, comment, and subscribe to both myself and to Tia. You know the drill. All of her information is down in the description box. Go check her out. She's brilliant. It's the whole thing. Do please share because sharing is caring. Unless of course it's an STD, in which case you know, wrap it up, jump across. But that's it. That's the end of the video, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Thank you.